is a winner. It's a fun game to practice your multiplication facts. It's your turn, and go ahead. You get to move your factor counter. The point so of this yeah. game is to get four in a row. So he's blue and I'm red. Go ahead and move your factor. So what's the multiplication factor going to do now? Five times three is 15. And so the, when it's your turn, you get to move your factor and multiply it times your partner and then cover up that board. So we're, here's a 15. There's a lot of numbers on here. Okay, fine. All right, so I'm trying to get four in a row. So I notice... Can you go diagonal try to do on these. four in rows? Yep, you can go diagonal. So you're on a three, so I've got to think about multiples of three because I can only move my red. I'm going to move mine to a four. This three times four is 12, and that gets me close to my 35 on the board. Four times two... Four times two is eight. There you go. Now, I gotta think about multiples of two because I can only move mine. So, where am I here? I'm gonna do two times eight is 16. Like this. Multiples of eight. Mm -hmm. You said 24. That would help you out. Eight times to get to 24. 8 times 3 is 24. Yep. So that's nice because you've got 4 in a row going this way, that way. 3 times 4 is 12. So what's great about this game is instead of just giving your child the multiplication fact, they have to look what's there, thinking about a few different facts before they take their turn. I don't want to do that because then, if, then you can get 20 up here. Oh, darn it. He caught my trick. So what he noticed is he's going to get, I'll then have multiples of four, and I could win with a 20. That's or right. I could win with, win with a four. So you have to think two steps ahead. Eight. Nice job. It's like chess. you got to kind of outweigh your you partner. You can't get to 20. So I was on a three, so you've got to go somewhere else. Eight. Eight and three. Eight times three is? Is 24. Yep. Is there a 24 on the board? All right. So now, I, ooh, ooh, that's so cute. Um, it's a little big, but yeah. You can also just cross these off if you want to just reprint out game boards. Eight times six. Oh boy. Let me help you with eight times six. What's four times six? Four times six is twenty-four. So what's 48. eight times six? Forty-eight. So those are some ways that you can. That's called the doubling strategy. So if four times six is twenty-four, that's four groups of six, and eight times six would be. Another four groups of six, so 48. Now you're on six, so he... Okay. Not looking good for you to win? Mm-hmm. Well, I am a math teacher, so... Oh, it's okay. All you need to do is mess up one time, and I got... So you're 21. 28. 28, 35. 28. Okay, so you're gonna go there, so where you have to put that four. So he just mixed up because I got, know, no, so he no, did four, no, and I'm no, gonna do four no, times no. five, and I get twenty, and four is a winner. We have to play another game. Okay.